What's going on YouTube? Uh, hometown Fit is coming through. I got a uh, little bit of a glove review here. Go over some of the gloves through my life and ones I'm using now. I want to start off right here with my Hall of Famer. Tony Fernandez Signature Series Rawlings. I've had this glove since grade 7. I'm 28 years old now so I've had it for a long time. And I just can't part with this glove. But I've retired it. I will never get rid of it. You, everybody's got that glove, you know. Everybody else has that glove they've had their entire life that they just won't get rid of. And this is mine for me. She's really wore out, as you can see. But it was really dried out at one point, And then I used some, some, some conditioner, which I'll get to later. On it. it actually brought the leather really soft, brought it back to life again. It's really smooth again. So we'll get to that after. And uh, move down the line now. This one's called a Rollins the Bull. All right, I bought this one when I started in a higher division of hardball. I was a pitcher. I used this glove. There it is there, the bull. It's just whatever. You know, I didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't go out and buy the expensive gloves. I didn't have my parents to go out and buy me expensive gloves, so I just did whatever I could. So those are my two other gloves. I didn't use this one that much at all. I always kept going back to Old Faithful. I didn't trust it. So it's barely used. It's like brand new. But anyway, moving down the line. Now I started making a little bit more money. So I spent a little bit more. Went out and picked up this glove. It's not even broken yet. It's pretty much brand new. All right, I'm still in the process. I've changed this one up. I tightened that. But it's the mesh back. This one's the Heart of the Hide by Rawlings. All right. I love the look of this glove. I love the, the red leather. Mesh back, like I said. It's a great, comfortable glove. And it's not that heavy. A lot of people say that the, the Heart of the Hides are pretty heavy. Mesh back definitely makes it a lot lighter. Uh, like I said, I haven't worked on working this one in, so it's super tight still. Um... It's the it's the uh, the trapeze, All right? I go. I bought this in case I was put out in the outfield. Uh, I don't play hardball anymore, so I moved into uh, to like a lob ball, um, slow pitch. You know, because I'm getting older now. I don't move as fast anymore. But I picked this up. It's a seventh. It's a uh, twelve seventy two or twelve seventy five. Sorry, it's the size. All right. I love this glove. I don't know if I want to keep it or not, but I might, I might sell. If anybody's interested, Trapeze, pretty much brand new. Never used it in the game. Played a little catch with it, but nothing extensive. You can still see that it's in, in perfect shape. Still in mint shape. If somebody's interested, you know, hit me up. We'll discuss price, but other than that, I don't know. We'll see. It's got the deer skin on the inside, by the way. The inside is deer skin on the heart of the huds. So that's that. Mesh back. Not very heavy. Pretty light because of the mesh. Moving down. This is my new one. This is my all-star glove right here. This one is the Pro Preferred Rawlings. All right. You can see it there. I use this glove a lot now. Playing shortstop for low ball. It's a 12-inch glove. A lot of people on my team make fun of me because I got the little glove, but I make less errors than they do, and they got like a 1275 or a 13 inch glove, you know, and I make less errors than they do. I went with a small glove for playing shortstop so I can get the ball out quick, get it into my hand, throw it over to second for a double play, or even toss it over to first because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta move quick. You gotta get that ball out nice and quick because the bags are so close to home plate and. It's not a big distance like in, in hardball, so that's my glove there. I gotta tell you though, the, the, the Pro Preferreds are the glove to get. I, I love it more than this one, that's why I focus more on this one. You know, I just love the, the way the, the leather feels, got the sheepskin on the inside, you know, really smooth leather. You know. Really like it. Big fan of this glove. I would recommend it to anybody that's looking to get a new glove or looking to trade in their glove to get something different. You know, and I was looking, I did a lot of research, a lot of YouTube watching what people thought, and 
I just went with the Pro Preferred. I've always had Rawlings, as you can see, so stuck with what I know, and I love it. Now, the Pro Preferreds, as, uh, uh, as well as these, the Heart of the Hides, they come super tight. And I believe that the Pro Preferreds are even tighter. Now, what I did to break it in, everybody's got their own technique. I didn't steam it. I didn't put it in the microwave. I didn't soak it, and I didn't do anything like that. All I did, I played catch. I took like a, a mini baseball bat, you know, pounded inside, beat it up inside here on the web. Always like just pressed it, just pressed the glove, and I formed it the way I wanted it. Now, when I play, I always, I always flare out the pinky because I play short. I flare out the pinky. I flare out the thumb. I always do that, you know, and I'm always, always just pressing down on the glove. Always pressing down on it to get it broke in. And what I used was a thing called Picard. A lot of people don't know what this is, but I used this conditioner right here. I, you can't find this in a store. I've never seen it in a store. I saw a YouTube video on it by a man down in... Um, in Georgia who makes YouTube videos I think his YouTube name is Big Dog and he repairs gloves and I saw him and he was talking about this and he said the only place he'd ever seen it was on eBay so I looked it up on eBay it's a Picard leather dressing alright it's made in Green Bay never seen it in a store I've only seen it in or on eBay this stuff is amazing I know a lot of people talk about oh the, you, you gotta get the Nakona or you got to get the, uh, the, the Wilson or, or whatever they use. I got to tell you right now, this is the stuff to get. Do not fool around. This stuff is the best. It broke my glove in right away. I just kept blathering on there. I didn't put it on thick. You don't have to put it on thick. You just put it in. You put it all over the palm. Put it all over the web, you know, on your fingers. You don't have to do it on this side. I do it sometimes, but you don't have to. You do it all in there. It doesn't stain the leather. The glove's just dirty just because I use it a lot. But, I mean, just put it on there. You don't have to put a whole ton. Make sure you get in there, obviously. You want to get all around the creases, all over the threads and everything. You just want to use that. Now, I went out to, uh, to a hardware store. Or our place up here is called Canadian Tire. And I picked up these things. All right. I used these little sponges. Right, you just massage it and massage it into the leather. So all you have to do, just massage it in there. Then you put your ball back, you put your ball in there, and you put a leather band over it or an elastic band over top of it to keep it closed. Keep it overnight. Next day, pull it out, get the ball out, and just beat it. Beat, beat your glove. You know what I'm saying? Beat it with a little mini baseball bat, like I said. Just pound that. Just pound it. Just get it done. You know, and it'll work in. These gloves come super tight, and she's perfect now. Thanks to Picard, I love this stuff. You know, and I only got the little one, and this one's lasted me a year. You don't need to get the big one. You can if you want. It's only a six ounce. I would suggest you get this. If you're looking to break in your glove, use this. You know what I'm saying? Start with this. doesn't stain the glove, and it works. Take my word for it. It works. So anyway, that's that. That's my glove review, all right? Pro Preferred, if you're looking to get a new glove, I highly recommend the Pro Preferred. Um, I know that the Wilson, or uh, what is it, the, uh, the A2000, everybody likes the A2000, and the, you know, I like the 2002, I never had one, but I know a lot of people have them, they like them, but I gotta tell you right now, I, I would go with this, the Pro Preferred any day, that's my opinion. My opinion only. Heart of the Hide would be second pick for me. Uh, I haven't focused a lot of time, but I love the look of the Heart of the Hides. And then, of course, then you get your basic gloves right here. Just, just the cheapos. But if you're looking to get a cheapo gloves, I mean, you can't go wrong with the Rawlings. I love Rawlings. Never had a problem. Never had any straps break on me. Nothing. All right. Never had a problem with a Rawlings glove in my life. Like I said, this one since I was in grade 7. Never had an issue with it. Alright, great gloves. Anyway, I'm going to have more for you later. I'm going to go over the, my baseball bats that I have. And uh, that's it. Like I said, Picard, look it up. Pick it up. Subscribe to my videos. Got a lot more coming. I'm a new person on YouTube. So uh, let me know what you think. Check out my channel and subscribe. Thanks. Peace.